Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'll be talking about Oracle 18C and how we can connect to the database with the help of Database Express. So, Oracle Enterprise Manager, Grid Control, or Crowd Control is something different uh, when we talk about uh, monitoring of the database. So, Database Express Enterprise Manager is different and the grid control is something different. So, when you want to monitor the number of databases, let's say you have a 1000 database and you want to monitor all those databases, in that case, you can use the grid control, which is a powerful tool provided by the Oracle. And at one shot, you can monitor many databases, even you can configure your alert so that if any database is going down, you can get the mail in your mailbox. And this is the power of grid control. Now I'll be talking about Ex Enterprise Manager Database Express, which is by default configured whenever you're installing the database. Now in our last video, we have seen how to install the Oracle 18C. And in this video, we'll be targeting how we can connect to the Oracle 18C database with the help of Enterprise Manager Database Express. So with the help of more Enterprise Manager Database Express, we can monitor to the database, but it has some limitation since it is coming free of cost with the Oracle database. Now let us see. So this is our Windows 10 and I'm just going to connect to the SQL plus slash as a CSDB. Here you can see it has connected to the 18C SQL plus utility. And let me check the database name first and open underscore mode and cdb from v dollar database so from here we can come to know that the database name is ORCL. currently it is up and running and yes it's a container database oracle 18c is coming with the container database so definitely it has some pluggable database in order to check the pluggable database show pdbs is a command okay now when we want to open the database express you need some port to be open and that port to be configured on the database side. So there are few commands which are handy with me. Here, if you observe here, I'm just checking what are what is the port that I can use for the database express. So there are two things that we need to take care. One is a HTTP and second one is HTTPS. So maybe you have seen uh, whenever you are uh, using the chrome most of the site official website they are coming with the https and few sites which are not uh, we can say it's not secure on that side you can see http only s will be uh, s will not be there so we need to configure both the port either you can use uh, uh, http or https or you can use both the port that's not a big problem now i'm checking what is the http port em is ex uh, using it right now so just put the command over here http so currently here you can see i have connected to the root container database show connection underscore name so i am currently connected with the root container and it is not using any http port what i'll do I will assign HTTP port to this uh, database express. How we can assign it? Let me show you. So this is the command and we need to use HTTP. So execute dbms underscore HTTP underscore config dot HTTPS. Just remove the S because S is for HTTPS and we will use the 20. So I'm going to use the 25520 port. Just copy it and paste it. Okay, now I am using HTTP 5520 port for the HTTP here. Okay, just cross check. Now I'm getting the 5520 HTTP port. So just log in to the EM Express and try to access to this uh, database express. So I'm just going to the here and here the port number I need to mention 5520 and we are using HTTP. Okay. We can connect with the sys user also so, uh, or system also. That's not a 
issue so sys and the sys password i am connecting as a sysdba and it is using 5.10 this is the port 5.20 it should be 20 okay let me just make the connection 5.20 get flash because since it's a GUI it needs flash to be enabled and now it is starting and connecting with the database express and from there we we can monitor our database sys sys okay slash sysdb no need to mention the container name directly login It is a EM Express Oracle Enterprise Manager and now it is loading. See here it is loading and just to load this thing it need the flash to be enabled. This is our instance name ORCL and 18.3 is the database version and now it is loading all the configuration which is available on the database and currently we have connected with the sys user if you want to log out the session from here itself we can log out it Please bear me for some time. Uh, it is taking time to load. Okay, so now it's fine. Here you can see the database is up and running from first of day. It means it's been uh, 20 hours, 9 minutes that our database is up and running. Uh, it's a container database which is having one pluggable database. And the database name is ORCL, instance name is ORCL only. This is on the top of Windows 64 bit archive process is stop. So everything we can monitor and from here itself if you want to check what are all the queries are running on this database from here itself you can check it this is all about em express okay now let's say uh, i will just try to change this to maybe 16 what will happen whether it will open we are just cross checking here we are getting the error message that the site can't be reached that is all about port so we need to make sure that we have configured the right port only now i'm checking whether we have configured https for this just put s https here it is showing that we have configured 5500 if you want to change it you can just change it like this and here you can just change only the thing is HTTPS should be available here. Okay. The same package you can use to configure another port for HTTPS. Currently, it is already connected with the 5500, which is a by default port. So I am not doing any changes. And I will just try to open with the 5500 whether it is connecting or not. Okay. Uh, here is it is going with the wrong path. localhost 55 okay this is the path and 5510 you can use the localhost as well as you can use the 127 which is a default IP address for the localhost We have used a 5.00. Okay, uh, let's change it 5.00. Because of that, only it was showing the problem. 
okay so here you can see it is connected to the https and let's login we need to add a exception uh, whenever uh, you are using the firefox or uh, chrome and very soon it will ask us to put the user id or password or if the session is already exist then it won't ask i'm connecting as a sysdb where i'm putting the sys and sys password and make sure you check as a sysdb even you can use the system or sysman user as well and now here you can see it is connecting with the 5500 for container database so whatever the configuration which i told you it is for the container database not for the pluggable database this is the container database over sale and the database version is 18.3 okay so it will definitely open and now i am going to connect to the pluggable database alter session state container equals to orcl pdb okay so show connection underscore name just to cross check whether we are inside the pluggable database yes we are inside the pluggable database here we can see now let's check what are all the ports we have configured here for http for http Control C and Control V. For HTTP, we have used 5.10. If it is zero coming for you, then you need to put this command. Only the thing is, you need to remove S from here because we are talking about HTTP like this. That's oh, okay. Uh, we need to execute it, right? So we will go with this command and mention the port which you want to use for http currently i am using 5510 so i am directly going and putting 5510 here Now it is started and connecting to the 5510 port and let us see how it's look. Let me take it. EM and login I guess. This is the URL. Let me Here it is showing HTTPS and what we have mentioned for HTTP. Okay, it's it should be S should be removed because we have configured this for HTTP, not for HTTPS. That is a problem because of that only they have configured HTTP and HTTPS port. So this thing we need to take care while configuring a database express. Now it has connected to the Oracle PDB, which is a pluggable database for ORCL data. Okay, so this is done and obviously it will get to uh, work. And for HTTP, yes, what is the port we are using? It is 5.02. So I have just added HTTP and S for security. Okay, 5.02 we are using. Now, how to use this 5.02 or other port? Only the thing is this command you need to configure over here and you need to put the port which you want to highlight for the https that's it and let's use 5.02 and try to open with https oh, i'm going to the chrome 
and it's uh, s see here now it has started and uh, it has connected to the oracle pdb this is how you can use the database express again it is showing the warning message just click on here and proceed to local host and now it's good that we can configure and see every details which is related to the oracle database on database express so this is all about database express so don't be confused with the database express and oem grid control these are two different different things okay so if you have any queries you can come back to me thank you so much for watching this video again we'll come back bye bye